Well, hell fire. It is Rock the Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead AV. Finally, doing some more Bloody Wood. Uh, it's been a minute. I did do their track. Uh, I know I'm going to mispronounce it. Dan to Dan? Dan to Dana? Dana Dan? Y'all don't kill me in the comments. Uh, I'm excited. I had so much fun with that track. Um, I love the melodies that come from, like, sitars. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you would call that. Like a minor harmonic type of thing. If you check out, like, uh, my shorts that I post, I do a lot of that, or I try to emulate a lot of that Melly... M Melly. <laughs> it's fake. Melody progression, like the progre the progressions that make that sound. Uh, I don't know why I've always enjoyed it. Like anytime I hear it, I think it just sounds so fucking cool. Maybe it's because uh, I'm from the South, and so it's exotic to me. Uh, it's like a lot of the common swamp country that's around here. I still enjoy some of that, but... Uh, don't get to hear this kind of stuff too often. So let's dive on in and have fun. That. Yeah. I already like that sitar. Is that a sitar or is that a synth? Can a sitar go that fast? I imagine there's somebody that can play one like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot that they rap. These dudes are fucking slick, man. It's like a. To me, it's kind of new metalish. I mean, we got new Delhi. So yeah, they're just paying, basically wearing what they do on their sleeve and everything. Uh, or on their shirt, this dude ain't got no sleeves. But, killer flow, killer cadence we had going on right there. I like the vocals. Uh, let's keep rolling. Fuck oh, that riff and say. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was sick. Kill or kick in right there, guys. I like, uh, we get a good shot. I want to see what kind of guitar that dude is rocking. Cause I'm, I am a multi-scale dude, bro. Fucking... I only, I got two multi-scales. I want to get me a couple more. They're so fucking comfortable. I wish I had discovered multi-scale years ago. But, uh... That riff fucking pops, bro. I want to back up. Uh... But also... The percussion that gets added by that dude is sick nasty. It's an actual, it's like an extra subdivision of the what's going on there. It's fucking badass. <laughs> yeah, that.
If I try to imitate this section, like I don't know what I cannot say it the right way, but that shit just hits fucking hard, bro. Like uh, I don't know why this song is making me feel like it's making me feel like when I first started getting into like new metal. And that bounce and that feel and like <laughs> just the pure joy of like like it just fucking it bumps, bro. The shit bumps. <laughs> hey. Hey. And the language, the uh, Indian, uh, the language has such a nice fucking flow. Like sitting there and trying to read the, the lyrics and seeing what they are translated to English. I don't think. I don't think singing this part in English would have the flow that uh, the native tongue does. Because it's just, it's just, like, it just, that shit is killer, bro. This is a fucking fantastic song. <laughs> Dude, and the music video is so fucking good, man. I like how the flow is chaotic, but it's not so much to the point that you can't, your brain's not computing what the fuck is going on. But that right there, that riff is hard as fuck, and then having a game of just having your boys behind you and you're fucking. <laughs> These dudes had to have so much fun on set filming this music video, bro. Yeah. Right That shit is wild, bro. Fucking hey, dude, that spinning shot's a bit chaos. But it all look killer, man. The people behind the production of this music video. Fucking nailing it, bro. Nailing it, man. When I get off here, I gotta send this song to my, my drummer. Uh, 
because that extra percussion of that, I don't know what kind of drum that is. In the comments, y'all let me know the drum that that guy's got hanging and he's hitting the sides. I don't know what kind of drum that is. But adding that to like the modern production of the actual just acoustic set, dude, that's like, that's so fucking cool. In a world that has so much of this kind of modern mix of metal, that helps stand out. That helps Bloody Wood to me stand out. And maybe it's because I don't listen to a lot of, uh, I mean, the other big Indian artist I've done recently was uh, Hunam, Hunam and Kind. Hunam and Kind. Hunam and Kind. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, big Dogs and a couple of his other tracks. Uh, but it's like, once again, the music video, dude, they just kill it. <laughs> they fucking kill it, bro. This is, this is, I can't remember, I don't know. I'd have to go listen to Dan and Dan again. But I think, out of what little bit I've done of Bloody Wood, New Delhi is fucking sick nasty. This might be my favorite one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Everybody's having a fucking awesome time. Yeah, that one. Down and down. Hell yeah. Y'all fucking killed. What does that say? Epic harmonium intensifies. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Uh... I think my favorite vocally is gotta be the main guy that sings in the native tongue. When he's like, that shit sounds fucking hard. And when I say that, I'm not meaning that in the sense to uh, offend anybody. Because there was a lot of people with my Hanu Mankind video today. I think they got offended. I didn't know why, because I thought I did nothing but, like, really praise and try to be, and show my curiosity. But then I had some other people reach out to me and was like, yo, like, YouTube translates. The way YouTube translates, you might not be 100%, so please, nobody, take offense to my thoughts during this video. Uh, because this song is awesome. I have enjoyed this song from beginning to end. Um... I think, yeah, when they're doing the, all of them, <laughs> sitting there playing this fucking surfboard, and everybody in the train is just, <laughs> Like, that shit is just so fucking hard, bro. In the land of the spice. Yeah, right there. I wouldn't have been able to keep a straight face on, on, the, on the set. If the camera guy was like, all right, so all y'all stand here and bob your head while he's ripping out. I, I, it would have been so hard for me to uh, keep a straight face. Yeah, they fucking killed it. Is that an Ibanez? I've been trying to look see if it looks kind of like an Ibanez brand. Uh... That was one. That gave me a little pep in my step for the rest of the day. I love that fucking extra drum, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, if this ends up being your first time on the channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hopefully the translation is, is done well. 
because uh, I assume this will be a bigger video for everybody overseas. But, uh, bloody wood, man. I wish y'all nothing but the most success. Because y'all are fucking cool as fuck. I would have a, a beer with you or uh, whatever the drink. Whatever the cool custom drink is. And, uh, yeah. If you have a song that you would love for me to check out, please swing over the community tab. You'll have to scroll down a hair. You'll see Metalhead Envy's round five suggestions. That's the list I work off of. That's the easiest way for me to keep track of everything and keep it all down into one. And, yeah. Now I can't think of nothing else to say besides the ending catchphrase, which is stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.